Hey guys, it's Megan. I hope you're having an awesome weekend so far. It is Sunday morning, or I think it's like 12 already, which is hard to believe, because I woke up like a little before nine, and I was like, I'm just going to start doing, like making breakfast right now, because in the past few weekends, I've been trying to make breakfast because I just enjoy it. Like, I never understood why my mom, <laughs> when we were younger, would always like make brunch or like breakfast pretty much always on Sundays and I was like isn't that so much work and you have to get up early and stuff but it's like you just like it and I don't know at least I do and I made a amazing new recipe that Caitlin sent me that's Oreo pancakes. I feel like they could be a little more flavorful so the next time I make them I might make a few adjustments but I don't know what I would do to them. I'll put the recipe I use down below um and they're just like pancakes with some like um squished not squished like smashed Oreos um and we found some like just regular Oreos in our cabinet when we were cleaning it out and I don't know where we would have got them but they weren't expired because we only like double stuffed or the thins those are so good um so I was like oh I'll just use up the regular Oreos this way because then it doesn't even matter how much like icing it has in it so um they were really really good and there was like a glaze on as like the um syrup oh my gosh so so yummy um but yeah they just needed like a little something like i don't know what would help it but they weren't like perfect so maybe i'll try to figure that out tomorrow or some other time but um I just did my makeup with the Natasha Denona mini retro palette I just put it away because I'm gonna do my Sephora VIB sale haul today most likely I am still waiting on a few things that I ordered like after the first day because I realized oh my gosh this is the last sale until like fall so I got like my favorite um summer BB cream or CC cream from it cosmetics the matte one and another special thing that I'm excited about that I was like wishy-washy about but just like oh my gosh whatever I'll just get it and 20% off makes it a little easier to swallow so that was exciting and I have most of my stuff so I'll just film it today and then show you guys the other stuff when it comes in but I've been like really really wanting to get a like summery perfume my favorite one right now is the Victor and Rolf um flower bomb nectar this is so good but it definitely has still like a spiciness to it like it's sweet it's floral but it's still like a little bit like spicy so if you have a suggestion of I don't know like a light like just like happy fragrance it I don't really want it to be heavy it doesn't even really have to last well on the skin because since I'm always home now I can just reapply it whenever I want so yeah I've been enjoying this but one something even lighter because this seemed light in the winter but now that it's warming up a little bit here um I want something even like lighter so I always have like <laughs> this like fragrance in mind that I don't even know what the notes are but I'm always like I just want like this specific scent but I don't even know what the scent is so it doesn't even make sense but there's always just like the goal of having that perfect fragrance and my um, Prada candy is oh my gosh it is my favorite for like pretty much all year round but it's still like a little bit heavy because it's like very like warm and uh, vanilla-y which I love but yeah, if you have like a lighter, brighter, like fruity, but not citrus. I don't really like citrus scents. What was that? Oh, it's my computer cord. Oh my god. I use my vanity, which I'm sitting at right now, as my work desk now. So I have like my computer cord here and stuff that I did never have at this little setup before so it just like <laughs> fell down the back of my desk and I was like oh my god ghost so yeah but I'm just kind of like here I'm not in a great mood I'm not in a bad mood I'm just kind of like 
here I am and this week was definitely like the longest feeling work week so far so I was so thankful at 5 p.m. on Friday I was like see ya suckers I do not want to think about work at all this weekend and not even that it was like bad or like intense or anything this week it was a pretty average week I just felt very like this is kind of the way it is now and it just felt like I don't know felt back to like the grind like the past this week that we just finished was my sixth week working from home and in quarantine and the first five weeks were kind of like this is novel this is not gonna last forever but then this week it like really hit me that like I don't know when this will end <laughs> and it just felt like a normal work week that I don't like look forward to going to work every day you know so it's just interesting how like my mind is like continuously evol evolving with this and it's just it's just the way it is I guess so yeah today or this weekend I'm not sure if I'll be able to do everything today but there's a few different things I want to do I got my towel bar for under my new um skincare shelf so I definitely want to set that up and one of you guys gave me the best suggestion for on top of the skincare shelf which I wasn't going to put anything on there originally and I'm still I don't want to like fill it up because I do like having it be just like empty but I want to see if I like having my perfumes up there like especially the current ones that I like and just kind of rotate them out like have like a few up there not like my whole collection but right now they're like at my vanity and stuff which is nice but I don't remember to like apply them so if they were in my bathroom which I'm always in my home bathroom now um I might like use them more and enjoy them more so that might be something I'll work on today and I desperately have to clean my brushes I have been putting it off for this whole entire quarantine and it's it's time I really really need to so I oh I should add that to my list I always make a list of things I want to do over the weekend um just in my like notes app and like I used to be really intense about like doing every single thing on my list but it's not that big of a deal like some stuff I didn't get to do last weekend which is fine but I want to do most of this stuff and I put like the videos I want to film. I can check off make Oreo pancakes. That's good. We might dye Rachel's hair this weekend if she wants to. We picked out dye like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point. Um, but she just hasn't like wanted to yeah but she mentioned it yesterday so we might do it tonight or tomorrow or whatever. I'm just excited. So I am going to get on with my day and I think I'm gonna do some laundry right now oh joy so yeah I will see you when I see you okay this is a fun little surprise oh. <laughs> look how cute it is they haven't seen it yet <gasps> seen it yet <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 Thank God we got that on camera. It's a Hello Kitty! Hello Kitty Kiko Mon Soy Sauce. I don't know how much these things are normally, but this is only $5.50. That's adorable. That doesn't seem too expensive. Oh, oh, and it, oh my God, I'm so glad I got that film. And it says it's extra fancy special edition. And so you buy it on the... <laughs> Mom can't handle her klutziness. <laughs> you buy it on Sanrio's website and it was free shipping. Ooh, adorable. I know. And it's one of those poor kinds Good. that I love. It's not broken. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be classic. <laughs> oh yeah, she got her cast off. Oh. Hello. Woo! The arm is in business again. It is, sort of. <laughs> Yay, glad it's off. Yeah, good. Ah, <laughs> oh, the great outdoors. Oh, it's nice to get 
fresh air. It was like raining all day yesterday, so we didn't get outside. The lens, my lens looks like kind of dusty. I'm gonna have to clean that off. But um, today maybe we'll take a walk. Rachel said we will definitely dye her hair tonight. I'm so excited. And yeah, we're just going to pick up prescriptions for my dad and for myself and maybe pick up lunch. But of course we have our masks. Caitlin, the ones that Caitlin made us are amazing. Like she is such a good sewer, such a great friend. And she could definitely sell these. Like I was on Etsy yesterday and you can come out. <laughs> and like everyone's oh, selling, <laughs> don't interrupt my vlog. It's illegal, but yeah. <laughs> on Etsy, like everyone's selling masks obviously, but we're gonna, isn't it nice like to be outside? I feel hot now. <sighs> really? I feel like perfect because I'm wearing I mean, this like I'm jersey thing. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Gotta go. Look how coordinated mom is with her mask. You can't see me smiling. But <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> it matches her outfit perfectly. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Crap, it just ended. Aww. There was just an announcement outside of Walmart to say that they're doing social distancing measures and all that stuff. So let's see if we have to wait in a line. Rach and I are watching our typical Saturday marathon of Love It or List It on HGTV. It is literally on till like 9 p.m. and we won't watch it all day, but it's just our favorite thing to do on Saturday afternoons and we get so invested. And this one is so good because the people are rich. They have four horses, so they want to find like a huge property. It's amazing. So we're about to see if they love it or list it. But yeah, we're just chilling. We're gonna dye her hair later. Exciting. Yes, very, very exciting. Rach and I are playing this game phase 10 that she did like a project on in college. <laughs> Online classes, so weird. But it's very interesting. I It seemed like really intimidating. But, it's but not. yeah. <laughs> A lot of rules, but I think they're kind of straightforward. Yeah, that. once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward, but like more advanced than like Uno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but similar. So thanks for introducing it to us. Yeah. We made steak stir fry for dinner, and we're gonna use our new Kikomon. <laughs> Look at these soy sauce. I'm so excited. This is one of our favorite dishes, so I hope I did it justice. So <laughs> we'll see. We just worked on the um, Hogwarts Express Lego set a little bit more, and we are so freaking impressed! We're saving the last two bags for another time, but we have this little like caboose where it has like a storage area, and it says like Hogwarts Castle, and then on the front it says Hogwarts Express, and it like actually moves, like the wheels move oh of course now that I say it, it's not working there we go it's just so cool and I think you can like motorize it if you get like those extra parts but now we have Hermione too so we're just having so much fun we haven't built Legos in I think the whole week so this has been really fun dad has become a popcorn connoisseur with this little microwave popcorn maker and we just put in kernels and butter and salt and he does his thing and <laughs> it's been so yummy and then i saw a post by chrissy teigen where she put ranch like salad dressing packet on her popcorn so me and rachel are trying that tonight i took one piece so far and it tasted really good because we're obsessed with ranch so bon appetit happy sunday you guys i'm making my coffee Today I did a caramel coffee pod and then I used the toffee nut creamer with half and half to make the like um, milk froth. What do you call this? Like steamed milk? And then if I want to add a little bit of this caramel syrup, that would be a nice touch too. I'm going to see how sweet it is before doing that, but we had this on our ice cream last night and it was so good. And this morning I'm just eating leftovers from yesterday's breakfast. It's a blah, dreary day. So I don't know if you can see, but it's raining. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to show you at this window. Good morning, you guys. I just had my breakfast, which I showed you, and my coffee was delicious. I don't know what 
like I did do it this morning. I feel like I, even if I do the exact same thing multiple days, it never tastes the same every single day. And I don't like measure the creamer or the other stuff, so that's probably why. But super super good i really like my makeup today and yesterday i didn't end up filming my sephora vib haul so i'm gonna do that today i just really wasn't in like the filming mood yesterday as much so i feel good today i wash my hair and my my nails keep getting stuck in my hair um so i'm probably going to rip these babies off um it's been two weeks today um that i've had them on and you can see they're like grown out a little bit and it just makes it um as they grow out like your hair can get stuck under the nail so i'll probably take these off today and maybe like washing my brushes will help kind of <laughs> pry off like the adhesive because if you do like I don't know I wash the dishes all the time with these nails but I feel like when they're starting to get a little bit loose if you're like really using your hands and like getting them wet and stuff it kind of helps to get them off so probably going to do that today we're going to do our big grocery shop we've been doing it pretty much every other week so today we're going to go to Wegmans and do our grocery shop and my Gigi and Grampy's so that'll be good Rach and I have like started to do that by ourselves so we're gonna do that in a little bit probably earlier in the day than like waiting because we forgot to do Rachel's hair yesterday her hair dye so we were just so into watching love it or listed that we totally forgot and our kitchen sink has been having a few issues so that really distracted us yesterday evening while we were making dinner it all started so um yeah we trying to figure that out because obviously to get like a plumber or something during this time is they're still working but it of course makes you a little nervous so I don't know we're just trying to figure it out but we'll probably have to call someone soon um but yeah I'm just going to like brush out my hair and get ready to film my video but yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm wearing my Harry Potter sweater that I got from Target and I love it so much. It is so cute and it has like these great illustrations of like a bunch of different Harry Potter related stuff and unfortunately last time I checked it was completely sold out and I got a great deal on this. It was like on clearance and then additional percentage off with Target Circle. So like I'm not trying to encourage you guys to always like look at Target's website because it definitely gets me in trouble to do that but certain stuff like you'll find gems within there so this is definitely one of them and I love it so yeah I'm dilly dallying so I'm gonna get ready and then film my video. The one thing I forgot to show you guys are my earrings so I did these um what are they called? Butterfly earrings with um, some of my sparkly hoops and oh my gosh I've never done this combination before of earrings and I love them. I I always just like liked butterflies and putting these on reminded me that when I was a kid I like before I had my ears pierced we used like magnetic earrings from Claire's. Oh my god those were like my lifeblood. I love them so much and I just remember today that I had butterfly ones and so these made me so happy and I just think they're just sparkly and pretty and a little bit different and yeah so I got those at Kohl's I think around Christmas time and if I can find them I'll link them below but I found a lot of really great earrings at Kohl's um, whenever my mom has like 30% off and stuff we'll go and like blow it out and stuff and so these are some of my like favorite earrings that I got from there but yeah I really like my makeup today everything is going pretty well so far so I'm gonna go film and yeah then get on with the rest of my day okay you guys I just got in an order from American Eagle and I have to show you this hilarious to me it's hilarious because I have been like intrigued by seeing people on Instagram like wearing like a whole outfit that's like a tracksuit or whatever that's all the same color 
And so I, when I saw this shirt, which I really, really like, it's like um, ribbed and it's like this cream color. And I'm definitely gonna keep this, I really like this. Um, and then I was like, I'll get matching sweatpants to have like a whole like fit. Oh my god, it is absolutely hilarious to me. So obviously love the top, but then the pants are like slightly a different color, like they're more yellow, and then they're like see-through, like you can see the pocket through the pants, and the pants are really comfortable, but like, first of all, this color this shouldn't be a whole outfit because it's like the boringest color ever and like it doesn't do anything for me like i really like the top um by itself like if it was with jeans or something and then like a jacket or something like that or even just without a jacket um and i would say actually with this sh um shirt to size down this is a medium and normally i would definitely say i'm a large in american eagle but yeah for some reason i guess based on the reviews, I got a medium and it definitely fits better like in the armpit area. But these pants are, they fit really, like they're very comfortable. But I'm gonna see how much they were because I can't wear them out. Like they're absolutely transparent. And they're not the same color even though it's the same color name. So I, <laughs> I was like, Rachel, look, they're not the same color. I'm so upset. And she was like, were you going to wear them together? And I was like, well, I wanted to try that look. And she was like, oh, I always think that looks weird. <laughs> and now it definitely does to me. Like, it looks, like, interesting, but... It just doesn't, it's not me. It is just not me. And I've been seeing like all these people on Instagram wearing like full outfits of like tie-dye, like tie-dye shirt, tie-dye pants, like the same tie-dye. And I'm just like this, I can't believe this is a trend. Like, and maybe it's just to wear at home, but still there's just like a lot, even for me. And I wear like a neon jacket sometimes. So yeah love this top love the v-neck and like the henley like buttons um and it's so so soft but these pants definitely don't get them in this like cream color they're really like sheer um but they're so comfortable so if they were like 15 dollars or something i might keep them but um yeah, I'll probably return them just because I can't wear them out of the house, which kind of defeats the purpose. Like, I bought them to obviously be good for now and, like, comfortable, but also to, like, wear after quarantine. So, yeah, I just had to show you this because not everything you see on Instagram actually works in reality. So, do you like my outfit? Yeah. <laughs> you like it? They are. Really tall, and I think that looks better. Like it. Aren't they like see through though? Do you, it like shows my butt. It doesn't really. There's some underwear like out, like lining that it's just like the tape of it. I like the shirt though. I know. I'm keeping the shirt, but the pants. I think they gotta go, even though they're really comfy. You can try them on if you want them. <laughs> She didn't hate it as much as I thought. I thought this was gonna be hilarious. Like you like laughing. <laughs> okay, thanks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Megan almost had a meltdown. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you guys the shirt with um, jeans because I think it's really cute. So these are the AG jeans I showed you guys a few weeks ago. And then it's so cute with the little like ruffle thing. And it's then, a nice detail. Yeah. And it just like fits really nicely and we just like it a lot better this way. And then I'm not like, is my butt showing? So, <laughs> yay! So I bought a new comforter and I love the box that it says this nap isn't gonna take itself. And I ordered this from Target when they were having a great sale. So basically the comforter is supposed to be like smart and has like these different quilting like things that help with like heat distribution. So it's supposed to keep you like not too hot but not too cold. And I am always like struggling with how many blankets like <laughs> i kick them off in, in the middle of the night and stuff so this seems really interesting and um the reviews were amazing so i bought this it just came in and i put it in the dryer so it's doing that right now to get like fluffed back up and then i'll make my bed with it and i'm so excited i've been looking forward to this all week 
We're in line at Wegmans. And it's freezing and cold. Oh my god, we're gonna get soaked. Look at these adorable bunnies. We just got home from the horrible grocery store. But these little bunnies make us so happy. Yay, love you bunnies. This is the new comforter I got. I love how just like plain it is. But then with the like quilting, like different squares, I think it just adds a nice like chic interest and then the um piping is like a maroon color it's really pretty so obviously i haven't slept with it yet but i'm just really really excited and i've been looking for like a simple comforter for a while and i just never liked any so i like this one the looks of it and we'll see how it is tonight when i finally get to sleep I just finished washing all my makeup brushes. It feels so good. I like wipe down my bathroom. That always feels good. It smells so clean. And my dad and I are going to put up the towel bar tonight, which I am so excited about because I've had to have my towels like on my sink area this whole time. And uh, I really, really miss a towel bar. So I'm very excited about that. I think I'm going to try to take off my nails tonight. Um... Cause some of them feel like they're getting a little bit loose. Like I said, they've been like pulling my hair, but um, yeah, so I feel like good and productive. I feel like I haven't been that productive this weekend. So I was glad to at least wash my brushes cause I've been putting that off for so long. I can't believe I haven't updated you guys about reading in this vlog, but I'm still reading Circe. I have maybe 50 pages left of it and it's really good i especially got into it after like a big turning point in her like life where she had to go somewhere else and it just got so much more interesting to me like i would say the first like 200 maybe pages i was definitely like overwhelmed because I am not familiar with Greek mythology and thankfully my sister like knows so much about Greek mythology from reading um the Percy Jackson series like years ago when she was in high school or middle school even um so she's been able to help me like kind of keep things straight but once like I got to I would say probably like 100 to 150 pages and I know I said the first 200 but it's definitely like a dense book and it is taking me longer to read because it's like a lot and like different things going on than like a book a normal like fiction book so if you're familiar with mythology I think it would be probably like a little easier to understand at least at first but now it's like I pretty much have like a grasp on it and I just think it's really really interesting and I'm excited to finish reading it. I really don't know how it will end um because I just don't know so I think that's cool that I can't really see what's coming and um this author has another uh Greek mythology book called The Song of Achilles and that was her first book and this is her like follow-up and so I would definitely be interested in reading that and probably reading the Percy Jackson books would help me a lot since my sister is basically like a PhD in Greek mythology through reading those so um this is a really good book and like different mixes things up um but probably after I finish this I'll go back to like a thriller and enjoy that just as much because I like switching things up. Oh my goodness, we got this amazing family like style meal from our favorite Italian local restaurant, chicken marsala, fettuccine alfredo, and the most amazing looking pizza you've ever seen. I cannot wait to dig in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give Rachel a present. She's like, what the heck is going on? I'm scared. It's not like that big of a deal, but it's something we've been wanting. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> clear Lego bricks. I found them at Walmart's Ooh, website. What? They're like an off brand. <laughs> Lego doesn't sell like, like clear yeah. bricks. Like and they're all different colors. <laughs> was it worth being confused about what was going to happen? <laughs> 
I like how it comes. Yeah. Like in a Ziploc bag. I thought it was candy. <laughs> I know, it kind of looked like yeah, it. Let's see yeah. what it gummy even bears. looks like. Yes. <laughs> gummy bears. Don't eat them. They're hard bricks. Cool. Oh, and it says bricks on it instead of Lego. Oh. <laughs> Cool though. Yeah. Lots of different pretty like colors. It says that it works with like the reviews were good. Yeah, okay. I'll link them below just in case you guys are obsessed with Legos too. <laughs> Look at this masterpiece Rachel made. <laughs> oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> I made a rainbow. Yeah, that's cute too. But hers is better. <laughs> We need to take pictures with these. That's so cool. It looks like, um, you know, I don't, bless you, when it's like. Like 8-bit? 8-bit, yeah. I was like, bits? I don't know. Oh, that is so awesome. Good job. We're getting ready to dye Rachel's hair. We're using this L'Oreal Feria Cool Amethyst 2020 Hair Color of the Year. We have our classic dirty towels. Mom told us those are her towels from college. And I was like, sorry, we're destroying them. And she was like, no, because we've always used them. This is Rachel's hair to begin with. So it's a like darker blonde, but I would still call you blonde. Like it's confusing, but it says that it should work. And the reason we're saying that is because all the times that we have tried to dye Rachel's hair and I have spent so much time like ombreing, like layering. layering. <sighs> it always just like washes out. Like, like within the few, first day. Yeah, we've had a few good ones, <laughs> but there's been a lot of fails. So. Yeah. So we're really hoping this one will work and it looks really pretty. So if she likes it, I might do my hair with it because I'm itching to do something with my hair and I want to do like different stuff I've never tried before. So we will show you guys the results. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm curled up in bed and I'm finally going to start to watch Little Fires Everywhere. All of the episodes are available so I can get through it as fast as I want. I probably won't binge it that fast, but I'm super excited about this because I've heard it's amazing and also because this book was what got me back into reading last year. So, Little Fires Everywhere I read on our trip to Jamaica and it like reinvigorated my love for reading. So, I'm super excited to watch this. I love Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington. So I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to watch this for at least the first episode this evening. And I can't wait to see Rachel's hair. It's processing right now. The first episode of Little Fires Everywhere was so good. And I can't wait to keep watching it. I'm really glad it's only eight episodes. So I'll definitely be able to get through it this week with McMillions that we watched last week. We watch one episode every night, which we really enjoyed. And we thought it was like such an interesting like crime and the people were just fascinating. And we loved it. We. I would rewatch it for sure. So that was really awesome and I think this will be my show for the week um, this week. So Rachel's hair is still drying and she's doing homework so I will just insert a picture of how it turned out. I'm always nervous whenever I do someone's hair because obviously I'm not professional and I just want it to turn out well for like them. So I hope she likes it and I hope it like sticks well to her hair and all that good stuff and I think I'm gonna play around with some different things with my hair over the next few weeks just see just try out some different stuff like with temporary color and things like that so we'll definitely keep you posted but I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog I love sharing my weekends with you and I didn't do everything I wanted to do this weekend but today especially felt like really long and really nice like I did so many different things and yesterday we just watched love it or list it all day which was exactly what I wanted and so it was a really really nice week Weekend. very refreshing and although I don't want Monday to come I feel like better than I did at the end of last weekend where, where I was like kind of down and not really looking forward to the week so I think this will be a good week I hope it's not super dreary the whole week it 
looks like we're supposed to get rain pretty much the whole week so I hope the sun comes out at least a few days this week so we can get outside and enjoy it but I hope you all are doing well and as always I really really appreciate you guys hanging out with me so thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon bye